didn't know we needed this three-wheeler in our lives until it was announced. Now it's here, and now we need it in our lives. It is the Mazda K360 kit from Cop Models, or K Models, however you pronounce it. And it's today's What's in the Box. Hey everyone, and welcome into today's What's in the Box. The latest kit from Cop Models, K Models, is the Mazda K360 kit. Just got released, uh, gosh, I think three weeks ago, four weeks ago, sometime in there. It's freshly released. It's me 124 scale kit, curb side, so there's no engine detail, but there's other there's plenty of other detail to make up for the lack of the little uh, hamster wheel sized engine. Let's check it out. Now we're gonna get started with the cab. Moving on to the first of the mini parts trees, this big main parts tree, which has a little bit of everything on it, body pieces, interior pieces, chassis pieces, suspension pieces, whatever pieces, you know, you name it, pieces, a little bit of everything. So right here's going to be about the most of the engine detail you're going to get right there, that little piece right there, the bottom half of the engine. And moving on to the next part tree will be the bed parts tree. So, so basically six pieces there. Well, I guess seven if you count the tailgate. And moving on to the next parts tree, which has I like the floor, interior, part of the interior parts, if you will. And moving on to the next parts tree, which has, I believe, basically the frame, part of the frame. And the next parts tree, actually the last parts tree from this bag, the main parts tree, which will have more. It's like the rest of the frame, the rear set of wheels, suspension pieces. Up next is the chrome parts tree. Now take a look at the clear parts tree. Now take a look at the tires. There is sidewall detail on them. They do say radio tire collateless, I believe is what it says. Now, some the decal sheet, some photo wedge, and some uh, metal transfers. So that is going to do it for this look at the Mazda K360 kit from Ka Models. K Models, how?
pronounce it. Definitely a very interesting, neat little kit. I'm very surprised, are very impressed with the quality of this tooling. Uh, first time I've ever had a K product. I definitely hope they do some more uh, injected molded uh, model kits in the future because this is, uh, I look forward to building this. It looks like it's going to be a really nice kit to build. I have no idea if Jameson has skill finishes can get you get you some color match paint mix up for this one. I don't. I'm still trying to find some paint codes myself for it, but I mean, doesn't hurt to try, right? So, on that note, thanks for watching.